Yeah, that's right. This is now a Roblox channel. I know what you're all thinking about right now. Can you skip one block gaps in Roblox? Yes, you can. It's basic math. So, despite the fact that in Roblox, game ticks happen a lot more often, there are still tons of wild movement exploits. And they all come from Roblox's stupid player collisions. Most games will use a collision box that doesn't rotate and has a square base. In Roblox, the collision box is your body, exactly the way you see it, without both arms and the head is separated. Also, keep in mind that you can change the size of your body, but most servers don't allow that anyway. In Roblox, you measure things with studs. This is one stud. The player hitbox's base is one stud by two studs. You can literally fall off of platforms by just turning around or touch a laser. And that's actually the whole trick to skipping one block gaps. The one block is actually four studs. So when you move sideways, you can't fall for the first two studs. Then you will start falling, but the Roblox's step-up mechanics will always save you. The step-ups work exactly the same they do in Minecraft, with one exception. In Roblox, you can step up even mid-air, which is something you can't do in Minecraft, unless you count blip-ups, but that's a whole different video. In Roblox, by turning sideways, you essentially make every jump one stud shorter. Technically, even better than going sideways would be going so that your diagonal is perpendicular to the platform you're jumping off of. I doubt anybody does tool-assisted Roblox parkour, but if anybody does, you should turn yourself 63.43 degrees in respect to the platform. That should allow you to jump the furthest, though there's no F3, so you can't see your rotation. But the hardest jumps in Roblox obbies are usually the wraparounds. Movement acceleration in Roblox is really high, so the optimal trajectory looks like this, and that's why the skill ceiling is so high. Roblox obbies will often require the perfect mouse movement. When turning your mouse, your collision box pivots around your center line. But wait a second, that means that standing next to a wall and literally rotating makes you clip into the wall. We can also notice that the wall immediately pushes you out. So you have to rotate faster, and you can do that using shift lock, which locks your camera in the direction you're facing. And this does actually put your hitbox inside of the wall for a couple game ticks. And Roblox players have found many ways to abuse that, for example by wall hopping. If you find a wall that consists of multiple disconnected parts, in between those parts there's a flat surface, usually that surface doesn't matter, but if you can flick your mouse at the perfect time, you can stand on that surface for a few game ticks, but that's enough to jump off of that surface. And that's a wall hop. You can chain them however many times you want. Experienced players can even do those without pressing shift. And there are entire practice servers dedicated to wall hops. The easiest way to do them is by looking sideways, holding the spacebar, and whenever you start falling, quickly press shift twice, and then repeat. So that's the best way to abuse Roblox's wall clipping. But could you use wall clipping to entirely face to the other side of the wall? When you clip into the wall, it will always try to push the player's center of gravity away from its surface. And this push is really strong, so you can't simply walk through the wall. You would have to get your center of gravity to the other side of the wall. And you can actually do that by emoting. Roblox has emotes, and for example, the emote Dance 2 can move the player's body to the right and the pivot around which your camera rotates stays in the same place. So after about half a second of this emote, your body is the most to the right. If you then rotate 90 degrees to the left, your center of gravity and your whole body will face through the wall. This is often referred to as quantum tunneling in real life. In, in Roblox it's just a dance clip. It's not always possible, it depends entirely off of the thickness of the wall. One stud walls can even be clipped through if you can do this perfectly. The newest Roblox games will have different emotes, so if Dance 2 is not allowed, use Tilt. You have to have it equipped, it's free on the marketplace. And the setup there is exactly the same. You can use it to get into some funny places, so a lot of servers will turn off emotes or make thick walls. So sometimes when trying to wall clip, you might get into this weird position where your head clips through the wall, but the rest of your body doesn't. And this means your head's collision is separated from the rest of your body. This is rarely useful, but it's funny. <laughs> Some more Roblox movement exploits 
are, for example, flings. These are a little more advanced, but they can be used to speedrun entire obbies in like 3 seconds. Basically, in Roblox, if you fall with high speed, some of your movement will be preserved and you will bounce off in a different direction. Controlling those flings and their speed requires perfect positioning, to the point where it almost feels lag-based. Roblox has some goofy ragdoll physics. So yeah, Roblox is better than Minecraft because it's written in Lua instead of Java. Much better language. Arrays in Lua start from index 1. Are you not convinced yet? So, if you seriously think I'm switching to Roblox, look at the date of this recording. It's that time, <laughs> yeah. Bye!